In this tutorial for step two of the Arnold rendering guide, I'm going to show you how you can reduce some of the noise in your render without touching the Arnold render settings and using the instead using the samples on the lights in your scene. Now, depending on how many lights you have, this step could kind of take a while. Um, and obviously the more lights you have in your scene, the longer your render times are going to be anyway. So before we start to adjust some of the light samples, what we will need to do is just go into our render settings if you haven't already and change the image size. Now the output for your CGI production uh, assignment is uh, HD 1080. But to start with, I'm, I'm going to use HD 720 for the purpose of this tutorial and you can also do some initial um, lighting settings using HD 720 just so that you get some faster feedback. So I'm just going to set that to HD 720 and close the render settings. And then I'm going to use the render view and I'm just going to do an initial test and see what my scene is looking like okay so my scene is quite a dark scene and because of that i'm getting a bit of noise and i'm also getting some lots of noise here first thing i'm going to do is show you how i would approach the light samples and how we can fix that and this is going to get us partially uh, to a nice render but we will need to do the next step is to actually look at the the Arnold render settings. So um, what I like to do when using the render view is to keep my images using this button here and that allows me when I render again to be able to flick back between the two images. Another thing I like to keep an eye on is the render time down here so seeing what I'm doing and how long that is adding to the render time and then weighing up whether or not that's worth doing okay and another thing is if you click and drag you can set out a region and then if you click this render region button it will only render inside of here and it will ignore the rest of the image and so it will take shorter to render so you can get much more quicker um, feedback again by using the render region so if I can get rid of the noise in this area I know that it will get rid of it around here as well okay so that's just an overview of how I use the render view now we can actually get to looking at our lights so what I'm going to do I'm just going to choose a slightly different frame here we go and in my scene I have my lights all very nicely um, set up so I'm going to hide these three lights and I'm just going to focus on this area light for now and I'm going to just do a quick render to see what that looks like okay so now what I'm going to do is, is have a look and see if I've got any areas of noise and we can see in the shadows here that we do have quite a bit of noise coming from this light and this is the only light that I have turned on so I know that the noise is coming from this light so what I'm going to do is select the area light and this is an Arnold area light so my samples are here quite near the top if you're using the default Maya area lights then you will need to scroll down and there will be a tab here that says Arnold and if you open that that is where your samples will sit for the Arnold renderer and so I'm going to turn up the samples to two. I'm going to save this image, click and drag, and hit the render region button here. And that's just going to give me very quick feedback on this, uh, on this area here where I had a lot of noise. And now I can flick back between the two. And can you see the change there? So by tweaking just the samples of this light I've been able to improve the noise so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this new image and I'm going to change the samples to three render again using the render region and 
come in and see whether that has made much of a difference. So it, it, ha it has made slight difference, um, but obviously not as big as going from one to two. So I personally, I will show you what happens if we go from three to four. I think there will be absolutely no change. Uh, we just start to, once we get past a certain point, we're just going to start to add render time, but not be improving our image enough for it to be noticeable. So my advice for you guys doing your projects would be that three is probably the maximum number of samples you should go on a light unless it is very 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 noisy uh, and then you could go up to four but the more samples you add the longer your render time is going to be so now I'm just going to do a full render and then we can compare with the initial one at one samples and then this one at three samples if you aren't worried about render time um, then you can just go in and put all your light samples to three but to be honest it's more professional to go through one by one and test your lighting so this was the so I'll just get rid of some of these in this in the middle um, this was the initial noise we had and then this is the improved noise from this light just by changing the samples and we've only added two seconds okay there is still some noise in, in the shadows but um, this we can address with uh, our overall render settings so I'm quite happy with that so I would then hide that area light and turn on my next light and do a test render and see how that's looking and I would go through methodically trying to see which lights are contributing noise if you don't think a light's contributing noise feel free to leave the samples at one um, you know some lights won't be contributing much noise to the scene so this light obviously is causing me quite a lot of, of noise um, and I need to determine whether changing the samples on it so this is a mesh light is going to fix it so let's go up to two save that image and render this is quite a slow process um, but it's worth doing because you will end up removing some noise before you start to add a lot of render time by doing it in the overall render settings so it's a good thing to learn to do so let's have a look has that made much of a difference to be honest I don't think that it has because I think a lot of this type of noise is coming from the fact that I have this transparent uh, lampshade um, which is probably hiding some of the noise that this light might be casting um, what I could do in this case is hide uh, this and render and see if I'm getting any noise that might need some samples and work that way so obviously now I've hidden that that's what was causing a lot of the noise so that's a different setting to address it with um, but yeah we're getting quite a bit of bit of noise from from this so I'm going to go into here and put the samples to three save it render it again so as I've said it's not a very particularly quick process this step but it's definitely worth doing okay let's have a look so that's not doing loads and uh, it's also not adding much render time so I'm just going to leave that one at three I think 
actually I'm going to drop it back down to two because it wasn't making any difference so I can turn back on my area light and I know already that these two little lights that sit uh, down here won't be contributing to the overall noise in the scene so I'm just going to leave them at one so now that I've gone through and adjusted my lights I'm just going to turn them all back on and do another render and see how that's looking so at this point I'm getting a 29 second render I know that I've gone through and eliminated any noise that I can by going through each of my lights and adjusting the samples any other noise in the scene now I will need to move on to the next step which is to use the Arnold render settings and adjust those to remove the noise